Good afternoon, welcome to the ICTY Weekly Press Briefing. I'm Magdalena Spalinska, spokesperson to Registry and Chambers. I'll start with some developments in the Tribunal's ongoing cases. In the case of Radovan Karadzic, the Chamber last week denied the accused's motion to hold a separate sentencing judgment in the event that a conviction is handed down in this case. The Chamber found no reason to depart from the Tribunal's usual practice of determining the sentence together with the conviction, if any. In the case of Jadran Koprlic and others, a letter was made public last week in which Slobodan Pralak informed President Meron that he will represent himself as of the 28th of April. In the letter, originally filed in April, Pralyak also requested that the appeals chamber hold proceedings until he receives a Bosnian-Croatian-Serbian translation of all relevant filings in his case. On the 22nd of August 2012, the register concluded that Pralyak was fully able to remunerate his counsel and ordered him to reimburse the tribunal for all legal aid funds. On the 13th of May this year, the Appeals Chamber granted the registered application of 20th of January to recover these funds and ordered Pralyak to reimburse the tribunal within 90 days. Last Wednesday, the 21st of May, the Appeals Chamber of the Mechanism for International Criminal Tribunals, or MICT, denied the appeal by Radovan Stankovic of a confidential decision by the, of the tribunal's referral bench dismissing Stankovic's request of 21st of January 2013 to return his case to the ICTY in order to, and I quote, conduct a trial to establish the truth, unquote. Stankovic's case was transferred to the court of Bosnia and Herzegovina by the tribunal in 2005 and he was subsequently sentenced by the appellate panel of the BIH court to 20 years of imprisonment for crimes in Forcha. The appeals chamber of the mechanism concluded that the referral bench correctly considered it would be contrary to rule 11 bis of the tribunal's rules of procedure and evidence to revoke, to revoke a referral order after the legal proceedings in the state concerned have been completed. Looking forward to next week on Thursday, the 5th of June, President Meron will present the Tribunal's biannual completion strategy report to the UN Security Council. The President will also take this opportunity to brief the Security Council on the progress made by the Mechanism for International Criminal Tribunals. His address will be followed by that of the Tribunal's prosecutor, Serge Bramert, and then mixed prosecutor Hassan Jallo. The president's and prosecutor's addresses will be sent to the media and posted online shortly after the delivery of the speeches. And finally, in the case of Ratko Mladic, the chamber is currently hearing the testimony of Slav Kogengo, a former member of the Republika Srpska Army in the area of Sarajevo. He is the sixth witness to testify on behalf of the defense. Thank you very much. That concludes our briefing for this week.